Hey and welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial. Today we will create a harbor scene like this one here. Here we are now on a fresh, fresh blender scene and we want to use today uh, this little guy again for some real time, uh, for some real world scaling and I prepared here four uh, containers um, with different uh, colors for the scene and you can get the download link into in the description um yeah first of all let's put all the containers into a collection by pressing m and rename this one to containers and yeah, let's uh, disable this one here now and now we want to go straight into geometry nodes <clears throat> because we want to create here uh, a container wall, containers. So let's create a new one on this cube here, GN containers. And yeah, let's create now a grid. Uh, so let's search for grid. We need uh, in collection info and we need a uh, instance on points and now let's put uh, the let's get rid of this and uh, let's put the grid into the points and the collection info into the instance and the instances to geometry and nothing happens because we have to select here our containers now you can see here are uh, the containers but yeah it's uh, the all the containers are now on the same um, grid points here so we have to go into the collection info and click separate children and pick instance and now everything uh, only one container is on one point now so and the next thing what I want to change is um, because the grid has always X and Y directions here we, but we want to have a wall so um, we have to change here the Y rotation to 90 degrees and now we can go here and search for rotation Euler and put this one here into the rotation and now we need to change the X value to 90 and the Z value as well okay cool and now we can go here and change uh, the X value from the grid to 14.5 and the x value to 85 let's increase the vertices to 7 by 15 and now we have a, a grid of containers here and as you can see the grid is iterating so what we can do to get a little bit more randomness is to search for the random value let's put this one here into the instance index and because we are having four instances uh, right now we can go here and change uh, the min value to four and you can play here with the seat because i want don't want to have an even wall um, i want to have a little gaps inside this thing um, i want to create here an empty and put this one here into the containers in, uh, collection and now when we change the min value to uh, five um, you can see that we're getting here these gaps this technique is not uh, really realistic because um, here are some holes now but you can adjust this um, in your viewport with the seat so that's not looking uh, unrealistic uh, like this here so we can change this later in our final shot final shot uh, let's uh, change here the camera really quick so we can go here into the camera settings and let's hide here our geometry node and let's go here for 0x minus 10 oh, let's go into the camera view here and uh, 3 in the z and 90 in the 90 degrees in the x value and everything else is on zero and now we want to go here into the vocal length and change this one to 25. Okay, that's good for now. Maybe we duplicate here three 
containers. We can use these containers outside of our collection here now. So uh, let's uh, yeah, let's put this red one here in the middle and offset this a uh, little bit here. So we are having a little uh, foreground here. So maybe something like this. And now let's uh, enable here our containers. And now we have to change here the value of uh, the container wall. So let's go here with an 8, uh, 45. And I think that's it here now. Maybe, um, as you can see here, they are a little bit intersecting. So maybe we are going here to something like this. And as I said, here are these unrealistic gaps. So um, maybe let's change this here for now to something like this. This is looking a little bit better. And now uh, we can duplicate the whole wall by pressing Shift and D minus eight to get this one on the other side. And now we can duplicate here the GN co containers and play with the seat here as well. And maybe we will choose something like this. And I think that's uh, looking good here right now. Let's go here into file, import BX. And I want to go here to import the Polygon A38 uh, FBX, which is, um, here this uh, crane now yeah i put the link to this one to the description of course and now we will uh, go here and yeah select this thing here and we have to go here to set origin uh, origin to geometry and can zero this one here a little bit out and now i want to scale the whole thing a little bit down so we are having uh, something like six here in the X, something something like this. And now we can uh, go and rotate this one here on 90 degrees in the Z value. Put this one a little bit here above, maybe to something like this and this. And let's go here into our viewport now. And I think, uh, a little bit down, so we're having something like this. Maybe let's put this one a little bit here to something like this. Maybe let's put a little bit here to the wall. I think this this is looking good here right now, so that uh, here the crane will not intersect here with the other wall. Yeah, as you can see, the crane is not <laughs> touching the ground here right now because yeah, we are a little cheating here. So what we can do here is a little uh, tiny fix. We can go here into um, the mirror and then we can or add or we can add here a mirror modifier and let's go here into edit mode select everything and change the x uh, axis to the y axis and when we are select everything by pressing a and g and z we can bring this one up here and mirrored or mirroring this one here to yeah to the down part and now when we are leaving the edit mode and put everything down, we are having here a little bit more structure. Okay, let's go here and duplicate this one and bring this one back here, maybe to something like 30 and rotate the Z value to 270 and put this one here over. So we're having this one here in the back. Okay, I think that's uh, looking good for this one here now. Yeah, let's go into the shading tab so we can add here an HDRI. Yeah, I used the Easy HDRI plugin. There's a new link for this plugin. So uh, I think it would be possible now to use this one again. So um, yeah, when you're using this, you can, um, here at your favorite folder, create a new world nodes. Maybe let's go here into the rendering. And as you can see here, uh, this already works, but let's enable here ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space, reflections, um, disable half rest trace, trace position, edge fading off. 
Okay, and now when we are in the world settings, you can see that the Easy HDRI plugin adds here. Um, yeah, this whole setup, but I want to use here the Shanghai Bond HDRI, which is from HDR Haven. I will put the link into the description. What we want to do now is change the add value to 0 0.01, really dark here right now. And I want to change the rotation to 230 as well. So we're having here a little bit of um, yeah, this city city background now. And now we can go here and add our first uh, light. Let's go with our scene light, which is already in the scene. And I want to go here into the settings, change this one to area. Um, everything should be on zero here right now. And we want to leave this power by a thousand. And let's change this one here to orange. Um, and then let's change here the rectangle to square. And I want to change this to one here. Okay. And now because we're in EV, let's uh, add here a contact shadow, shadow, which makes a little bit realistic shadow here. And now we can go here and let's see. Uh, let's go here in the top view mode by pressing seven on the numpad. And now we can go here and put uh, this light here and down uh, the structure here and put this one up and maybe to something like this here. It's always up to you where you want to put your lights. Um, I think this is looking cool here. And now we can duplicate this one or no. Um, we want to duplicate this light by pressing Alt and D, not Shift D, because uh, this copy uh, will always uh, connect it to the first light. So when we are changing stuff here in the first light, um, uh, this light will get uh, this settings from the first light. So. Uh, let's go into the top light, uh, top view and put this one here over and let's see here. Maybe we can put this one here as well into uh, the structure here right now. I think that's uh, looking good here right now. Okay, and now it's time to add some uh, fog. So let's go here and Add a cube. Let's rename this one to fog. And yeah, let's uh, go into the scale and change this to 25, 150, and 16. And now you can see that the whole cube is uh, around our scene now. Let's go here and change uh, the material. So let's create a new one and let's rename this one to fog. Let's get rid of the principal BSDF. And yeah, for, for the EV way, I, I want to create a volume scatter and for the cycles as well, but I will change uh, the settings for this one. So um, yeah, let's put the volume scatter here into the volume and bring this one down to something uh, grayish. And let's go by the density to 0.2 and the anisotropy to 0.8. And when the lights are a little bit too foggy, um, then you can go here into the into your first created light, into the settings here from the light and change the volume slider a little bit down, maybe 2.5 and then um, yeah, the volume lights are not so hazy. So I think something like this is cool. And um, yeah, the last step here now um, for some lightning, I want to put um, a little bit uh, depth light here uh, into the scene. So let's create another one, which will be point light. Uh, let's change this one to 1000 again and something bluish here. And um, yeah, let's rename this one to 
point light blue and disable this one here for rendering and for the viewport and now we want to create a new plane which will be here a gn lights because we want to clone this light here now so let's go back into geometry node um, and change this to gn uh, lights let's cut here the, co co the connection and we want to go with the mesh line something like this we need a object info and we need a instance on points <laughs> again let's put the mesh into the points the geometry into the instance and the instance to geometry uh, let's go here into render mute and we see nothing because we have to select here uh, our uh, light uh, point point blue here and nothing happens because we have to enable as instance and now you can see here are our lights now let's change the offset from z to 20 in the y and now i want to bring this here in the viewport a little bit down and um let's bring this a little bit here to 15 in the y so we're having this a little bit more in the back here and i think something like this is cool and let's uh, rename this one here right shift d for duplicate and left and minus this one here and now we are having here a lane a light lane maybe let's go here with minus uh, oh, let's go here with minus three three by minus uh by three i think this is looking a little bit better okay cool and that's um for uh, the ev part here right now and as i said i want to go and change this here for cycles so only thing what i want to change is uh yeah let's hit over here to cycles and uh, gpu commute compute and yeah, the first thing which which you uh, see now is that we are having here this uh, gap. And that's because we have to change uh, the camera uh, clip to something like 500. And now everything looks fine. But for me, um, the fog is a little bit uh, too dense. So uh, I want to go here. Maybe let's draw a line. And this one is for... Uh, EV here now we can go here now we can duplicate this one here put this one into the val volume volume the only thing which I want to change now is from 0.2 to 0 0.05 so the scene is uh, no so uh, the fog is not so dense here and I think uh, for the final shot this one looks a little bit better now that was this tutorial and if you like my stuff, check out my channel or watch the next video. See you there and bye.